Okay, I'm about to start the live stream. Some of you are probably going to join as we go. Um, and uh, we are doing multitasking. So I've just been multitasking because my sound dropped out. So thank you for those who are still with me. And we're going to do a really nice half hour practice. So let's take a few moments to wait for people to join us. So if you could start by sitting up nice and tall, uh, ground down through your sitting bones and just let your shoulders drop, lengthen up through the back of the neck and start to concentrate on your breath. You might like to close your eyes and focus your attention on the space between your nose and your top lip. So just start to become aware of the feeling of the breath moving in and out of the nose. Yeah, beautiful. And as you start to settle, I'm going to make sure that our other people are finding the link to join us. So... Let's keep rolling. Okay, beautiful. Looks like everything's working. Gorgeous. Okay. So as you start to feel the sensation of the breath moving over the top lip, start to see if you can relax the space between your eyebrows, Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Let yourself start to settle slowly, bit by bit. We're going to stay here for a little while. So you're moving the breath through the body nice and slowly. You can add a count if you want to, if that helps you settle. Or you can add a mantra. You might like to add the word om or quiet or peace. Any word can be used as a mantra. Something to help you start to focus the mind whilst we just gather here for the next few minutes. So in this space, you'll start to notice the quality of your mind. And take a moment to observe the quality of your mind. Is it busy, agitated? Are you surrounded by lots of people? coming in and out? Are you in a quiet space? Wherever you are, just observing how that's affecting your state of mind and letting that be as it is. So we're all definitely in a time where we're learning to really roll with it. So let's take a long deep breath in and out and take a moment to make a sankalpa for your practice which is an intention for your practice this evening welcome so come on over join me on the mat So come into a cross-legged position if you're not there already. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. Raise your arms up and out as you inhale. And as you exhale, fold in. Inhale, opening up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, open the shoulders, open the chest. Exhale, squeeze. And inhale, and exhale, and in, and exhale. Two more breathing in, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. 
Very nice. And coming up, bringing the right hand down, reaching the left arm up and over and open the side of the body. Take hold of your head and look up. Lift the left side of the body. You can bend that bottom elbow if you want to and feel the side of your body opening. A few breaths there and then reach up and over and let's go to the other side. So stretching and then looking up at your elbow as you rest your head in your hand. Lift the top elbow up, relax the bottom shoulder and open the side of the body. Nice and open. Feeling a bit creaky and reaching up and over and come onto your knees and keep your hips to one side and we'll do the same move again with the arm. So it doesn't matter which side you start with. Once um, Let's start with the right arm. Left arm can go up and then left head coming over, relaxing down, reaching up through the top elbow, looking up, reaching up, drop the left shoulder. And reach up and over and take your hips the other way. Reach right arm up, bring the head over toward the hand on the floor and reach up and over with the head. Relax the right shoulder and release. And coming on to your hands and your knees. Hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Arch up into cat. Just opening through the back of the heart there. Press into the shins and inhale, looking up. We're opening the heart tonight. Exhaling up and inhaling into cow. Exhaling up into cat. Press into the shins. Press the floor away. Inhale, looking up. Exhaling up. Press into the shins. Inhale the other way. Fantastic. And now come down onto your hands and your knees right all the way down to the floor take the right the hands back towards you turn your palms up then roll over to one side and open up to the sky the feet behind you can be apart and you can lift this front hip off the floor that's fine you're really looking to get this stretch right through the front of the body and then once you're here relax the shoulders and breathe so opening the chest Nice big openness through the front of the body. So if you're spending heaps of time on Zoom, if you're working from home, you're going to be hunching over the computer. So we're opening the heart tonight and you might be feeling a little stressed. So everything contracts and squeezes inward. So we're trying to find a counter to that very understandable energy that's probably swirling around you at the moment emotionally and physically so let's come back the other way and we'll do the same thing on the other side so palms are facing up and then you're rolling over and taking the arm back and let's take five breaths here I feel a little bit like a beached whale but it does feel really nice through the chest so keep relaxing the shoulders you can keep the knees on the ground Keep reaching and relaxing through the wrist on the left arm or whichever arm you've got over your body. One more breath. And lovely. And come all the way back down. Very nice. And coming up into cobra pose. So pressing the elbows back, pressing into the tops of the feet and rolling the shoulders down. Keep your hips on the floor. Gently squeeze the buttocks, press into the hands. Very nice. And draw the buttocks back to the heels. And let's come up into plank pose. But you're going to do a plank variation. You're coming onto the tops of your feet, keeping the hips up. So make sure you're not hanging down like this with your hips off the floor because you can hurt your back. If this is too strong, you're going to come back to cobra. Otherwise, you're coming all the way up and we're holding here for five breaths. So lifting up, bring your attention to your navel and squeeze nice and firmly into the belly. Enjoy that sensation. Feel the heat coming into the centre of the belly in and around the navel. So we're bringing this strength to the belly. 
clearing the stagnancy down in the lower body so that we can start to move more openness into the heart. Hold, hold, hold. Bring the knees down, but expect to the heels. Release. Mmm, that feels good. Let's come back onto the belly again. You're going to hold onto the feet. Breathe in and exhale, lifting up. Try and draw the knees toward one another. So don't worry about how far you come off the floor. It's not important. You can spread the toes, roll the shoulders back. And five breaths here. So we're about three breaths in. Lovely. And come down. So we're going to do something a bit tricky. You can either go back to the first roll, taking the arm over, or you can try and do this version where you're rolling onto your side, holding your feet. So sometimes you need a little bit of roll up. Oh, it looks like I've got a sun on my head. How nice. And again, you're relaxing or drawing the feet towards your hand. You can keep your head down. But imagine that you're gently drawing your shoulder blades together, gently drawing your thighs long towards your knees. Two more breaths. And release. You can use your hands to release. And release the feet. Just rest for a moment. You can rest your arms in front. You can either rest on, <coughs> on your forehead or you can take your head to the side. If you've got your head on the side, turn it to the other side now and have a little rest. And let's come the other way. So take hold. We're going to go the other way. So it does take a few rolls, so don't worry if you're rolling around a bit. Hopefully you might be giggling a little bit, not getting too cranky. So here we go. Oh, there we go. And then feel that openness as you gently draw the feet toward the hands, opening your chest. So shoulder blades are coming together. And again, remember, you can take the, the hand back. Squeeze, 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 and release. And let's come all the way back. And have a little rest. Palms facing up. And just let yourself unfurl. And imagine you might be able to feel a bit of luminosity coming in the back of your body. Most welcome to rest on the forehead. Let's bring the hands underneath. Very nice. Rest back, but it's back to the heels. Now let's come up onto the hands and the knees. Reach up tall. Squeeze everything into the midline. Press into your shins and take the hands behind you. So there's two versions here. We're coming into camel pose. You can either keep in this position with your hands on your back and just gently lean the hips forward. The idea is to keep the hips forward of the knees rather than letting them come back like this. So if you bring your hands back to your feet and you find this is where you are, try and focus on bringing the hips forward of the knees. The full extension is feet flat and hands flat. And take five breaths here. You can keep your chin tucking in, activating this throat chakra here, Jalantara Bandha. Some of you won't know what that means. Some of you who I teach regularly will, where you're gently contracting in the throat. Otherwise, if you feel comfortable, take the head back. It's very strong to take the head back, so I do caution against that if you've got any neck issues. 
and let's come all the way down. This time we'll take the knees wide, big toes together, kneeling and stretching forward, dropping the head down. Three more breaths here. Take a little activity in the inner thigh by gently pressing down into the knees and gently drawing back through the tailbone. Very nice. And let's come all the way back up and bring your knees together and come over onto your belly. Take your hands onto your knees and roll down vertebra by vertebra. Very nice. Interlace the hands behind your head. Bring the knees into your chest. Inhale. Flex the feet. And as you exhale, lengthen the left leg forward and twist with your right elbow across the body and back in. And exhale. And back to the centre. The lower you are with your leg, your straight leg, the harder it is. So if you've got back issues, take the leg a little higher so that it's not straining your back. And twist. Really slow. It's challenging to do slow, right? Exhaling. We just want to get it over and done with. Like multitasking. So one of the things I'm hoping you'll feel after this class is that because we've gone slow, we've asked that agitation that happens when we're running from one thing to the next, we're breaking a little circuit there. So notice if you're feeling challenged by that and that's all right. Two more. Maybe feeling a little heat in and around the navel again. And release, feet down to the floor, have a little rest there. You can rest the knees together. Very nice. Let's release the hips. Take the left foot over the right knee, draw the knees into the chest and flex and squeeze. Straighten the right leg up to the ceiling. Drop the right foot down to the floor, straighten the left leg and then you can hold on to it and take it out to the side, stretching the inner thigh. If you'd like to do a more advanced version, you're straightening the bottom leg and holding the toes. Otherwise, support your, head, your leg with your hand and extend through both heels and enjoy this sort of sensation of lengthening like a star. So lengthening out through the left heel Lengthening out through the right heel or keeping the knee bend if that feels nicer on your back. Keep breathing to the space in and around your navel. So as you inhale, you're expanding the belly and as you exhale, belly squeezing in. Inhale, expanding and squeezing. Three or four more breaths. And come back up. And release. Just let your feet flop out for a moment. Palms facing up. Notice that big flush of uh, energy that's released from the left side of the body. Maybe it feels a little lighter. Dense on the right, light on the left. Let the breath guide your release. And let's change sides. So bending your left foot, Right knee coming across, 
And let's draw in and get a little hip stretch there. Woo, feeling it. So drawing the thigh closer to the chest. Just feeling that move into the hip and then straighten left leg. And then dropping the left leg back down, straightening the right leg up. Again, you can keep the left leg bent, taking the right leg out to the side or you can straighten the left leg and grab hold of the toes or you can support the leg as before with your hand. And again, let's take five breaths, focusing on lengthening through the lines of energy running to the heels on both legs. You can take your other arm out to the side. You can look to the ceiling or you can look over the opposite shoulder from the leg. So reclining big toe pose, really lovely pose to start to bring channels of energy and in particular, you know, fresh blood and oxygen up to the space in and around the navel, into our major organs, bringing a clear channel up toward the heart. So we're increasing our blood flow. Introduce nice deep breaths if you haven't already. Take about four more breaths. And bringing the leg up and releasing. And take a moment here to just, again, feel the right side of the body respond and integrate that stretch. Notice the rise and fall of your belly. And bring your knees into your chest, grab hold, inhale, and as you exhale, push the knees away. And just hold here, activating the navel again, pushing the knees into the hands. And then roll up. So we're coming into wide-legged pose. So toes are pointing up to the ceiling, extending through the heels. So some of us... Um, find that when we sit in poses like this that we get a real curve in the back like this. So if you have a, a blanket nearby, you can sit up to get a pelvic tilt forward. Otherwise, stay sitting upright so that you can start to train that area of the back and the inner thighs to start to open. Some of you will feel more comfortable with your knees bent here. Wherever you are, Try and keep the chest long and the back body long. So we're coming forward. So if you find this is what happens when you come forward, stay a little higher. Okay. So we're folding forward here and holding for about five breaths. Extending again through the heels, really uh, enjoying that sort of sensation of opening from the thighs. You can get really heavy in the thighs here. And again, reminding you that bent legs is okay. That feels doable. Okay, just do what you can. And we're coming up. We're bringing the left foot in. So one foot coming in left leg coming out and we're mirroring this pose we did before so we're going to take the right hand onto the floor left hand up and over and reach and look up toward the elbow lifting and opening the chest and lifting and opening from right down here in the side of the body reaching up really tall very nice lift 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 and then bringing yourself back up again. And then let's bring the left hand onto the knee and the right arm taking hold of the head 
moving toward the straight leg. Oh, my God, I'm so stiff. I've been really going for it with the yoga at home, um, even though I've only been doing really short practices, which is why I have started to, to introduce a shorter practice to, tonight. Normally we would do an hour. But I think shorter practices might be easier for us to get to when we're all at home. So hopefully that's true for you. Give me some feedback, though. Happy to do longer classes. Just let me know what you're loving, what you're not. Probably not loving the sound issues. Neither am I. Oh, yeah. Come all the way up. So coming down again, this time bring the left hand Actually, this time bring the left hand on the inside of the leg, right arm coming up. You're either repeating holding the head or you're going a step further and taking hold of the toe. And then you might even be able to take hold of both toes. This is much more advanced, obviously. And if you find yourself falling forward or you've got this arm up like this, go back a step to here. It's much more interesting to try and get your body along the leg using the resistance of the arm against you. So you can use the resistance of the side of your arm to twist and open around the side of your body. Just take a couple more breaths here. Mm, big side stretch, a great way to release that feeling of hanging on, release that sense of having to have things in the way that you're used to having them. So we're creating a little more harmony and softness and connection with the world as it is around us by stretching the sides. So come on up nice and gently. Bring both feet forward. We're coming up into tabletop here to release. So inhaling up. Press the floor away. Keep the chin up. Squeeze the buttocks. Squeeze the belly. Lift the hips as high as you can. A little bit of a challenge and come all the way down. Yummy. So other foot coming in. So I'm working with a bit of an injury on my knee, so I'm bringing my foot a little bit further away from my groin on this side. And I probably won't come as far in. So let's start by reaching over. Reaching and opening the side of the body. Foot turning to the sky on the right side. And then the other way, reaching up, looking up to the top arm, feeling this delicious stretch, lifting right from your hip bone, right up through the side of the body. Now reach the right arm across to the knee and reach this left arm up. Just enjoy that twist. If you'd like to go further, then take hold. If that's enough for you, you can always come back up and go into a gentle twist behind as well. So if you'd like to rest in a pose like this because you've had enough of that deep stretch, come back here. Otherwise, come to the next place, holding the head, releasing the hand holding the foot or keeping the arm on the ground and reaching down, bringing the right side of the body across the leg, holding onto the toes if you can. Breathe deep. See if you can let go a little more. Reach up, release, unfurling piece by piece. Just let that settle before we move into our tabletop pose. Feet together, little hip width apart rather in front of you. Hands facing back behind your fingertips, facing forward. Tabletop reaching up, nice and tall. Squeeze up, come back down, slide the hips back behind you and then inhale, lift back up. Exhale, swing the hips back. 
Inhale, lift up. Rest if you need to or do one more. Exhaling back and inhaling up. For this last three breaths, if you'd like to really challenge yourself, walk the feet forward and lift up. It's very strong. I'm not doing it tonight. Too strong for me tonight. I know there's a couple of you who'd love that one. So, Leah, maybe that one's for you. <laughs> I know she's watching from Edinburgh. So lifting up nice and tall. Come all the way down wherever you are. Legs coming out. And let yourself come down into a nice rest. And allow yourself to become aware of any sensations as you're lying here for a moment or two. There might be a pulse in your belly. You might notice the rise and fall of your chest. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And gently bring your knees into your chest again. Squeeze your knees. Take your hands onto the top of your knees and roll your knees around in one direction. and the other direction. And then roll over to one side and gently make your way up to a seated position. And I wanted to share a little reading with you which is a really nice poem that I was sent. I think something that happens when we're in these situations is the old chain letter gets a bit of a good go. So there's all kinds of competitions online, post photos of this and share that. And at first I was like, oh. anyway, and then I got into it, of course. And I've received some absolutely beautiful poems from beautiful women. And this one is from a very old friend who lives on the other side of the world. It's a beautiful, beautiful poem about slowing down. I hope you enjoy it. This is the time to be slow. Lie low to the wall until the bitter weather passes. Try as best you can not to let the wire brush of doubt scrape from your heart all sense of yourself and your hesitant light. If you remain generous, Time will come good, and you will find your feet again on fresh pastures of promise, where the air will be kind and blushed with beginning. And that's Benedictus, A Book of Blessings by John O'Donoghue, sent to me by the beautiful Sarah. Thank you, everybody, for coming along to yoga tonight. I hope you enjoyed this practice. You could do it a couple of times. It's a goodie for just <whistles> calming the tension that comes with multitasking. Meltdown. I will see you guys on Thursday if you'd like to join me again. Namaste.